I have two nights watched with you, but can perceive no truth in your report. When was it she last walked? Since his majesty went into the field, I have seen her rise from her bed, throw her nightgown upon her, unlock her closet, take forth paper, fold it, write upon it, read it, afterwards seal it, and again return to bed. Yet all this while in a most fast sleep. A great perturbation in nature to receive at once the benefit of sleep and do the effects of watching. In this slumbery agitation, besides her walking and other actual performances, what, at any point, have you heard her say? That, sir, which I will not report after her. You may to me, and tis most meet you should. Neither to you, nor to anyone, having no witness to confirm my speech. Lo, you, here she comes. This is her very guise. And upon my life, fast asleep, observer, stand close. How can she buy that light? Why, it stood by her. She has light by her continually. This her command. You see, her eyes are open. Eh, hey, but her sense is shut. What is that she does now? Look how she rubs her hand. It is an accustomed action with her to seem thus washing her hands. I've known her continue in this quarter of an hour. Yet, here's a spot. Hark, she speaks. I will set down what comes from her to satisfy my remembrance the more strongly. Ah, dumb spot. Out, I say. One, two. Why then, tis time to do it. Hell is Marky. Fie, my lord. Fie. A soldier. And a feared. What need we fear, who knows it, when none can call our power to account? Yet, who would have thought the old man to have so much blood in him. Do you mark that? The thane of Fife. He had a wife. Where is she now? No more of that, my lord, no more. You marvel this was starting. Go to, go to. You have known what you should not. She hath spoke what she hath not. Heaven knows what she has known is the smell of blood still. Oh, oh, the perfumes of Arabia will oh, not sweeten this little hand. <sighs> what a sigh is there. The heart is sorely charged. I would not have such a heart in my bosom for the dignity of the whole body. Well, well, well. Pray God it be, sir. This disease is beyond my practice. Yet have I known those who have walked in their sleep who have died holily in their beds. Wash your hands. Put on your nightgown. Look not so pale. I tell you yet again, Banquo's buried. He cannot come out on his grave. Even so? To bed! To bed! There's knocking at the gate! Come! 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 Give me your hand! What's done cannot be undone! To bed! To bed! Will she go now to bed? Directly? Foul whisperings are abroad. Unnatural deeds do breed unnatural troubles. Infected minds to their deaf pillows will discharge their secrets. More needs she the divine than the physician. God, God forgive us all. Look after her. Remove from her the means of all annoyance. And still keep eyes upon her. So, good night. My mind she has made it and amazed my sight. I think, but dare not speak. Good night, good doctor.